One of the most important and overlooked aspects of estate planning is beneficiary designations. And beneficiary designations are critical because they control the distribution of the assets on which the beneficiary designation is placed. So when you are doing your estate planning, it is important to take into account assets controlled by beneficiary designations to make sure that your entire estate plan is coordinated, not only assets that are separate from assets with beneficiary designations, but also those assets. The assets that require beneficiary designations are IRAs, 401ks, life insurance policies, annuities, employer provided benefits such as stock options, deferred compensation, transfer on death accounts, pay on death accounts, and recently a lot of investment houses, brokerage firms, will allow you to put beneficiary designations on those assets as well. So sometimes it can be an, a person's entire estate that is included in beneficiary designation type assets. Often life insurance policies and IRAs are two of the largest assets in an individual's estate because they have intentionally purchased life insurance policies to provide for their surviving spouse and children in the event something were to happen to them prematurely. And if they are working and able to participate in a 401k plan or they have an IRA, people can put a lot of money into those accounts, making them large assets that need to be attended to as a part of the estate planning process.